Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I'm just going to run through some basic housekeeping before we commence today. So if you could please take a moment to turn your mobile phones to silent. If you haven't done so already, that would be fantastic. There is a bathroom located just at the back of the hall. And in the unlikely case of an emergency, we're all going to exit through the door that we came in today and assemble on the tennis courts. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, parents, teachers and students. It is our pleasure as the 2021 school captains of the Rockhampton Grammar School to welcome you this afternoon to our Year 7 information, information session. My name is Angus and this is Ruby. Tonight you will have the opportunity to meet our Headmaster, Dr Moulds, and our Head of Year, Head of year 7, Mrs Rundle. You will be provided with, a key, with key information about high school here at RGS and given the opportunity to hear about our about our enrolment procedures from our registrar, Mrs Holloway. I began my RGS journey in 2016 as a Year 7 boarder, coming from a small town. My time at RGS has been full of opportunities in the classroom, at Rita Mata and on the sporting field, playing a wide variety of sports. And I feel very grateful for having had the chance to partake in them. My journey has been similar to Angus's, as I also joined the RGS family in 2016 as a Year 7 boarder. I was raised as a country girl on, a, on an organic beef property west of a small rural town, Monto. Being an RGS student, I found that I'm not only learning in the classroom, but I'm also learning about life, about gratitude, resilience, courage, personal growth, respect, and the importance of being an, an authentic individual. I feel as though I am part of a community, community, and I feel grateful for every opportunity it has given me throughout my six years here. I would now like to introduce to you our headmaster, Dr. Moulds. Please make him feel welcome. Now, I'll see if I can talk without moving Mrs. Rundle's slides too much. Um, thanks, Ruby, and thanks, Angus. On behalf of the Rockhampton Grammar School, I warmly welcome everyone to this Year 7 information session. Whether your child is joining us in grammar for the first time or moving from RGS primary into the secondary school, commencing secondary school is a significant change for everyone. Thank you for considering RGS for your child's secondary school education and those who are moving from RGS primary to secondary, thank you for your ongoing support and trust in our school. I honestly believe that Year 7 provides an opportunity like no other to grow in character and scholarship, which is our school's motto. And that school motto applies to all students at Rockhampton Grammar School from prep all the way to Year 12. In welcoming you this evening, I do want to take a quick moment just to share with you what I want for everybody who attends RGS. We want you all to define success as achieving your personal best. Success is not measured against others at RGS, but it is about providing a learning environment and opportunities to enable each student to achieve the most that they can, understanding that that achievement depends upon what they're actually doing at that particular time, point in time. Also want us to have students who live rich, fulfilling lives, deeply connected to our community and contributing significantly to society. In order to achieve this at RGS, we plan to succeed, set really high goals and pursue them with passion. We take pride in our traditions and uphold standards. At the same time, we're also open to change and innovation. We focus on the whole person, their interests, aspirations and life circumstances, fostering learning everywhere, whether that be in the classroom, in the co-curricular program, pastoral care, in service and so much more. In 2020, we launched the RGS Leadership Institute. At the Rockhampton Grammar School, it is our belief that leadership development opportunities should be offered to every student and it is actually a vital part of their schooling experience. Also in 2020, RGS became the first school in Queensland to achieve safeguarding at children accreditation, which has ordered all of our school's practices and policies ensures that we are the safest place possible for your child to attend. We take our care of every student very seriously, as we want all grammar students to be happy, to be healthy, to be comfortable, 
as people so they can achieve that personal best. In addition to this, we want everyone to understand who attends the school that they need to treat their knowledge, their skills and their creative talents, not only to benefit themselves, but also to help and purposefully benefit others and the community in which they are a part. Every boy, every girl, teacher, staff member and parent is at the heart of the Rockhampton Grammar School. You all provide the identity and soul of this school. It is vital when you join us here, you, you contribute to and shape the best possible culture at school, where students and staff are supported, skilled and empowered to achieve their best in all that they undertake. A former headmaster of RGS said, our greatest duty as educators was to place our students' feet on the right path facing the right, right direction. That holds true as it did nearly 100 years ago. We need to ensure that our students are positive, grounded and really confident in their abilities, contributing to society and ready to take their place in the wider world. Thank you for coming tonight. Please feel free to ask any questions you have and enjoy the passion, care, concern and connection you'll hear from Michelle and experience interactions with all the staff and the students here. I'd particularly like to thank our seniors for um, coming to help this evening, knowing that they've got a maths assignment due on Friday. Thank you very much. Welcome. It's wonderful to see so many familiar faces this evening, some very, very familiar faces. Uh, for those of you um, who, who don't know me, my name is Michelle Rundle and I am the head of Year 7 here at the Rockhampton Grammar School. My job is made up of many different tasks, but if I can tell you what I actually do, on a day-to-day -day basis, it is to be here for you and for your children. Our motto is to grow in character and scholarship, and I love that character comes first because it should. You are what is important to us. We grow in character when we face challenges, try new things, take up opportunities and put ourselves out there. Starting high school and maybe even coming away to boarding school is going to be a rewarding experience, but it is challenging, it is new, and in these times, you will grow in character. I believe your scholarship or your learning will be at the best when you are happy, when you are growing as a person. One cannot work without the other. I'm sure you're all starting to wonder what it will be like to make the change to secondary school. Although exciting and lots of fun, any change can prompt us to feel a little nervous. It is always easier when our questions are answered and we know some friendly faces. And I'm so glad to see you all here tonight, as that is the purpose of this session. What I hope you walk away with this evening is a sense of comfort, some information which answers some of your questions about the Rockhampton Grammar School, high school in general, year seven in particular, and a sense of excitement as we begin our journey together. So what does year seven look like for us? Year seven is a transition year. In 2015, we opened the Birkbeck Building, home to Year 7. After lots of research and careful planning, RGS took the approach that Year 7 needed to be different. We needed a level of care and expertise different to what we had known before, and we have not looked back. In Year 7, your sons and daughters will belong to a core class. We have six core classes with approximately 25 students in each. They will have two core teachers, Generally, it's one for maths and science and one for English, history and geography. The students will study their core lessons in the Birkbeck building, and we have a couple of classrooms open this evening for you to visit. The students will have many opportunities to go up to the secondary school for elective classes, assemblies held twice per week and lunchtime activities. One of these core teachers will be your son or daughter's form teacher. This is a very important role in our school with the delivery of our pastoral care programs. Year seven students need to feel like they belong. They need the confidence to try new things and the courage to put themselves out there to grow in character and in scholarship. This is why topics such as growth mindset and teamwork are integral to our daily programs and complement our curriculum. Alongside our core curriculum, we currently rotate through an exciting list of elective subjects that offer a broad range of possibilities to our Year 7s. 
There are eight electives on offer this year, so with four terms, we study two per term. This allows us to explore their passions and we guide them and their choices as they continue their journey into year eight. Thursday afternoon sport is definitely a highlight in year seven, as I know it's a highlight across year six in our primary school programs. We've been lucky enough to secure great staff as well as expert coaches and trainers from around the region to take our students through the drills and skills of sports, such as water polo, touch rugby, netball and rowing, just to name a few. Year seven is a time for us to get to know your children and for you to get to know us. We appreciate that it is not just a big transition for you, for the children, but also for you as parents too. My door is always open and that might mean that you call me as you are a thousand kilometres away, or it might mean an email, or it might be that you and I can sit down together and talk through any worry or concern that you have. My door is always open to you. How do we always ensure that our students are learning to become their best selves? As I mentioned earlier, through our pastoral care programs, we are looking to help the students grow as a whole person, to reach their potential and to find their passion. I always say to the students that we shouldn't be aiming to be the best, but we should always be aiming to be their best, to only compete with themselves. Across the school, our pastoral care programs are a key part of our weekly timetable and students meet with their form teacher and their head of year in year seven, that's me, each week. This provides opportunities for us to explore topics related to well-being, have good, strong discussions, build relationships, and simply time to grow as a class and as a cohort. In year seven, we are lucky to extend this time to include a second lesson a week with our form teacher and a year seven assembly led by me. Our school understands that students' needs are varied and to assist us, we have two full-time psychologists on our team, as well as a part-time chaplain. We also offer a learning support system, likely a little bit different to your current structure in the primary school, but offering services to assist our students who may need extra help. We offer in-class support in year seven, but you can also access our learning enrichment center in a user pay system for small group tutorials. When you come for your interview during the year, please feel free to talk to me about your concerns. And likewise, for current families, please know that I spend time in your son and daughter's classrooms discussing your child's needs with our primary staff. And you are always welcome, as time gets a little closer, to give me a call and talk to me about any particular needs that you're worried about. Our wonderful Year 12, some of them sitting at the back up there waiting to show you around a little later, are a very important part of our family in Year 7. We have two form seniors that belong to each of our classes, one, one male and one female, and they act as big brothers and big sisters to our Year 7s. These students, some of them who are with us this evening, assist us in settling the Year 7s in the first week and ensuring they feel welcome and at home. They accompany our Year 7s on their day trip to Rita Mata very early in the year and on our camps later in the year. They provide support and guidance around the school as only a senior student can do. Our motto in Year 7 is we are better as one. To be our best selves, we need to work together. Not just the children, but all of us. The wonderful Year 7 team, you as parents and guardians, the children and me. We really are better as one. We talk about finding our passion. One of the things I love about our incredible school are the opportunities available to our students. I have two gorgeous children in the primary school and their opportunities have been endless. As many of you know, my son will be joining this cohort in 2022 as well. Just a little bit nervous about that. I encourage Year 7 students to always have a go. So I like to have a go at things myself because it's, uh, it's very important to role model, especially to this age group. I want them to try something that they've never tried before and there are plenty of opportunities to do that. What's the worst that can happen? They don't like it. So try something else. There's plenty of things on offer. As I said, we, you and me, with our sons and daughters, we are transitioning from primary to high school and we are finding our feet together. 
Better to have tried than to have regrets. We are here to help them discover what they love and what is their passion. I've considered some common questions, some things that I get asked fairly regularly, and I thought I would address those this evening. So while I know that your child will be okay as they start high school, I also know that you have questions and you have concerns, and I want to take the time to address those. Many things about high school are the same as primary, but some of those things that are the same are also just a little bit different. I will touch on homework, our tablet program, our co-curricular program, routines, lockers and uniforms. Homework. One of the things that we often want to talk about is how much do we do? What is the difference? It's, this, it's the question that the grade sixes ask me a lot when they come to interview and also when I come down and spend time with them in the primary school. Yes, it is a little different, but it's also one of those things that is also a little bit the same. We do have different teachers once we enter high school, and so each teacher may have different expectations. The amount of homework for each class might be different. It's not one teacher setting homework, it's several teachers setting homework. But what I want you to know this evening and what I want you to remember as you begin your journey into high school is that we are there to support you and them along the way. We will ease our way into homework as we are, as I said earlier, transitioning together. At, we have a tablet program, a computer program in grade seven. Each year seven student is given a computer and that is theirs to use for their time here at RGS. And we have just received those in week three of this year. We wait for a couple of weeks to settle them uh, and then we introduce the computer to them. We don't expect the children to do anything that we don't teach them how to do. And we are very aware that students come with various experiences with computers and technology. Our classroom learning is a balance of book work and computer work always leaning towards writing in a variety of spaces, including book work, board work, and display posters. It is a priority for us to include writing in every single day. When you have a look around the classrooms this evening, um, you'll specifically see lots of that work already up around the rooms. Our co-curricular program is fantastic. Finding time to fitting it, fit everything in and balancing work and play, that's the difficult thing, but we're all trying to do that. This is a time where all sport and activities are outside of our normal school day. We offer a wide variety of co-curricular activities, including many sports and many activities such as rugby, netball, water polo, cadets, chess, robotics and art club, just to name a few. We want to help your young people to grow in areas of their lives and encourage them as they grow, offering them leadership opportunities in every activity. Leadership roles assumed by students often contribute to their academic success and significant personal development. Our routines at school. Our school day begins at 8.30 and it concludes at 3.10 with morning tea and lunch um, at, at various times throughout the day. And that will happen at, at the same time each day for the lower, uh, lower high school students, except on a Wednesday we have a slightly longer morning tea, which allows for us to have our senior students at the moment running some fantastic programs for them um, and just gives them that little bit of extra time on a Wednesday. In our senior years, our school offers a flexible timetable, including early morning and late afternoon classes to meet the demands of the senior curriculum. But we might just get through year seven first. Lockers is the absolute highlight for all of the grade six students coming into high school. I'm not sure it's still a highlight uh, five weeks in when we've forgotten our combinations and we've got to cut off a lock and I can't find something and I open the door and I don't want to open that locker door again. But it's definitely a highlight for your young people as they're coming into high school. We are very lucky in the Birkbeck building that all year seven students, day students and boarders have a locker and it's right near their classroom. And that's done on purpose. We want to help them to transition from having a tidy tray where everything is right there at their desk into, I need to collect my stuff and go into this classroom and I'm not coming out to get anything else. Or I actually might be going up somewhere further in the school and I can't go all the way back to my locker. But as I've said numerous times this evening, we're doing this together. And in that first term, it's all about learning and growing and working through those um, new routines. It is a learning curve for the students to be organised. Um, but again, they have, they have lots of support in that. Why 
like all schools, we wear our uniform with pride and our senior students are doing a beautiful job of that for us this evening. I enjoy seeing the students come for interview with me in their school uniforms. It gives me a wonderful opportunity to learn about where they've been and about their wonderful primary schools that they are currently a part of. It's great for me to ask them about their school mottos and to find out what that's about and how that works every day in their schools. It's always lovely to see how proud they are of their current primary schools because I know they're going to bring that pride to us in Year 7 at the Rockhampton Grammar School. Our daily uniform is more of a formal one. Our students at the back, our seniors, are wearing our formal uniform. That's not our uh, everyday uniform. Our everyday uniform is our blue shirt for the boys with the long slacks or the shorts and the long socks. And for the girls, it's our um, blue and white dress with the tie. All of our uniforms are purchased on site at the red and black shop for your convenience. And as the time gets closer um, and you get some more information about our school, we'll, we'll um, give you some opening times for our red and black shop. All of these topics that we've discussed tonight can be discussed further with me at interview later in the year during one of our orientation programs aimed to support your child's transition as we get closer to the time and as the need arises. One of our year seven goals in year seven is to be aware of the students needs, to be aware that each cohort is different, to communicate with you as parents and guardians and to listen to you and your children. As head of year, I want to create an open partnership with you all, always with the students as my first priority. So what's next? This won't be the last time that you see me this year. If you are a new family joining us in RGS in 2022 and you are booked in or will soon be booked in for an interview in the coming weeks, I look forward to meeting you all personally and hearing your family stories. If your child is currently in our primary school in year six, you will not need to re-interview for the year seven but I will be around throughout the year to get to know your children as they begin the transition into high school. It was my pleasure to go and listen to their leadership speeches yesterday afternoon in the auditorium. I'm always amazed at how incredibly brave they are and how amazing their speeches are at such a young age. So um, if one of those young people is your son or daughter, please tell them um, how proud of them I was. There'll be opportunities for our new day students, our new boarders, and our current RGS students to be involved in orientation programs later in the year. We enter year seven from all over, but when we come together, we are one. I am looking forward to welcoming you all to year seven in 2022. I'll now welcome to the stage, Mrs. Marissa Holloway, our registrar to guide you through the processes and procedures from now. I thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you, Mrs. Rundle. Um, hello everyone, I'm Marissa Holloway and I'm the Registrar here at the Rockhampton Grammar School. I often get asked two questions um, from families when I first meet them. The kids usually ask me why I'm so short and I'm really sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. And parents usually ask me how long I've been at grammar. So I'm proud to say this is my 13th year here at the Rockhampton Grammar School. I have two older children that graduated from grammar last year and one is here with us tonight who's helping out. And I also have a little one in grade two in the primary school. So I've been here a while. I've experienced primary, high school, and I'm still experiencing it. So if you have any questions at all about anything, please don't hesitate to contact me. Okay, like Mrs. Rundle said, if you are a current student here at the Rockhampton Grammar School, you do not need to reapply for entry into secondary school your enrolment will automatically carry forward. New students to RGS will be invited to attend an enrolment interview with Mrs. Rundle and boarding staff if you are attending as a boarder next year. Enrolment interviews are generally 60 minutes per day students and 90 minutes for boarding students. Now that also includes a full tour of the school and facilities. So that time is not all spent talking. You will be walking around and seeing the wonderful facilities here at RGS. New RGS families will be sent a link via email within the next few weeks, and this will enable you to book a time that suits your family to come in and have your enrolment interview. The Rockhampton Grammar School has scholarships available for students entering years seven or 10 in 2022. Scholarships are open to current and new students entering the school and are academic based. Students are required to register online for the ACER exam which will be held at the school on Saturday, the 5th of June. 
The closing date for scholarships is the 19th of May, so please ensure you register before that date. The school also offers needs-based bursaries to new students entering year seven to 12. Parents are required to complete a bursary application form and submit that to the school with supporting documentation for review. Bursaries can assist with covering a portion of the tuition fees each year. For further information on both of these opportunities, please refer to our website or contact me at any time. That now brings us to the end of the year seven information session. Thank you for all attending this afternoon, and we hope you now have a greater understanding of what Year 7 looks like at the Rockhampton Grammar School. Our boarding staff are here to assist with any questions that our boarding families may have. So we have our Director of Boarding, Mr Norford, and our Head of Girls Boarding, Ms Mangan, here to help you. I'm also around to assist with any questions that any of you may have today. And before you leave today, we'd like to invite you to view the Year 7 classrooms in the Birkbeck building. So in keeping with our COVID safe practices, we're going to place you into small groups with our senior students and they will guide you up to the year seven building. And we ask that you maintain reasonable social distancing while you're doing that, please. You're then welcome to exit the grounds either via Archer Street, which is near the year seven building or come back down and exit via Quarry Street. There will be an opportunity later in the year to have a full tour of the campus, whether it be during your enrollment interview or in term four for our current students. We do have some refreshing drinks available this evening, a small suite and some gift bags as you exit. Thank you very much for attending.